Valery Ryabik, Ukrainian military expert and development director of Defense Express Media and consulting company, believes that Ukraine, after receiving F-16 aircraft, could potentially receive F-35 fighters in the future. He shared this view on Espresso TV. If we discuss the 128 aircraft we need, they might not be limited to just F-16 fighters. Options could include Mirage 2000-5 or Gripen aircraft. At this stage, we can't rule out any possibilities with certainty. However, it's clear that Ukraine will continue to rearm with Western-style aircraft. We will gradually gain the technology needed to maintain their operational capabilities and produce spare parts, Ryabik explained. According to him, after receiving the F-16s, the next step will be to obtain other advanced aircraft. Over time, Ukraine's Air Force will transition to a single type of aircraft, likely the fifth-generation F-35 fighter jet. I do not doubt that we will receive F-35s in the future. Aircraft are not just about tactics, they are about strategy. Therefore, if we have already received the F-16, our pilots will move towards mastering other Western aircraft. Given Ukraine's geopolitical position, we will continue to receive the latest Western weapons. He added, a number of Ukraine's European allies have pledged to send F-16s to Ukraine and the first batch arrived in the country in late July. It remains uncertain how many of the combat planes were sent to Ukraine. The arrival of the first combat aircraft in Ukraine nonetheless marks a notable achievement. Kiev repeatedly requested the aircraft from allies over many months of the war. It has awaited US approval for the export of F-16s from allies willing to transfer them to Ukraine and then the training of Ukrainian pilots to use the aircraft has also taken months. Denmark, the Netherlands, Belgium and Norway have agreed to send around 80 aircraft to Ukraine, although the timeline for their delivery varies. Most are not expected until 2025. Russia has dismissed the supply of F-16s with Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov saying last Thursday that Russian forces were prepared to shoot down the F-16 jets. German Skynex anti-aircraft artillery systems have begun to protect the Ukrainian skies. Footage of this system is shown in the official video for the Ukrainian Air Force Day. The complex was developed by German Rheinmetall Air Defense Militani reports. The publication explained that the main task of Skynex is object air defense. Since the gun mounts are not self-propelled, they are used to protect airfields and critical infrastructure facilities. The Skynex battery consists of four 35mm gun mounts, a control post and a radar station that detects the target and directs the gun towards it. At the same time, the gun mounts also have their own radar station, which is combined with an optical system. First of all, they are used to capture air targets and the use of an optical system ensures high accuracy against small targets. In 2022, Rheinmetall announced that it would manufacture two Skynex batteries for a European country and requested funding from the German government. Some time later, the media reported that Ukraine would receive these two batteries worth 182 million euros. The transfer of the systems took place as part of military aid from Germany, which the Ukrainian armed forces received earlier this year. Skynex is an evolution of Rheinmetall's SkyGuard system, already in use by 60 countries. It includes a 31-mile range radar, a command post and four guns equipped with electro-optical sensors and tracking radar. These guns can fire 1,000 rounds per minute, targeting threats up to 2.5 miles away. A notable advantage of Skynex is its cost efficiency. While the cost of a single Iris-T missile ranges between 300,000 and 500,000 euros, intercepting a target with Skynex costs approximately 4,000 euros. The system itself is valued at $90.5 million. In addition to its cost benefits, Skynex is capable of neutralizing not only kamikaze drones, but also cruise missiles. 
Its integration allows it to receive target information from a unified command center, making it a vital element of a comprehensive air defense system.